welcome to my channel. I'm super excited because I'm starting to put together my December daily. So here's the binder I'm using. And what you just saw was um, the inside of the binder where I'm just going to hold, you know, random doodads and stuff that I collect over the month. And then I just showed you my dish that has all the ephemera pieces that I have so far on it. Um, and what just some things I'll be working with. I have quite a bit of the crepe paper um, Fala La collection. So yeah, let's start decorating. Um, I'm going to take some white paint and spread it across. It's actually kind of been a vision for this binder for a while, no matter what I was doing. That's kind of like the idea, just because it's so plain and bland. I wanted to add some another, I don't know, layer to it, I guess. That Believe, I think, is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year, never ended up using it, so I'm glad I get to use it this year. And then that chipboard is from the Fala La collection. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, uh, that chipboard Christmas tree and it already has some gold sequins in it. So that's kind of fun. And then I just have a white doily from my stash from Hobby Lobby. Those snowflakes at the bottom right are also from the Fala La collection. And those mountains are actually from, that's my cat, <laughs> are actually from Cray Paper's Snow and Cocoa collection from last year, their Christmas collection. And um, so I kind of mixed what I had left from last year into this year's this year's um, pile of ephemera. Um, so I'm going to glue that down because I know I like that. I was I got the uh, thickers that uh, are part of this collection from the Fall of Law collection, but there's no numbers on it, which is kind of disappointing for people who do December daily. So I because I was going to write December daily 2017, but then A, I would be using all of the Ds, and then B, there's no numbers. And I wanted it all to match. So whatever. I just put the title as Believe. And then maybe I'll put the year somewhere or something in different thickers or alphas or whatever. I'll figure that out another day. But I'm just going to layer up these snowflakes um, with put some, putting, by putting some glue on. And then I'm going to put the mountains on top. I don't live in a mountainous area really, but I just thought it was really cute and I love the colors. I wanted to bring more of the pink into it. So I'm just going to take some foam that I got from Hobby Lobby, just like some fun foam or whatever, and um, put it on the back of the mountain so that it stands out a little bit more. It's not so flat. Oops, it's a little bit slippery and slidey when you use glue, but that's okay. So that will go right there. And now I'm just kind of auditioning different pieces, seeing what would look good. I like the stocking there. I thought that that would look good. But I also thought maybe that would be too much. So I pass it up. But then I find this from the sticker sheet from Fala La. And I really like that. So I add that there. Just says joy. I thought that was a nice little touch. Is anyone else doing December daily this year? Comment below. Tell me what you're doing, how you're doing it. Are you doing it every day? Are you doing it by week? Are you just doing it whenever you feel like it? Are you using prompts? I'd be really curious to know. So I'm taking some other little things from the sticker sheet and just layering them up and incorporating more pink. I love pink for Christmas. I think that looks so good. It's the only time really that I like pink and red together. Otherwise, I think that's just too much for me. It clashes too much. But at Christmas time, I feel like it works. And then with greens and teals and stuff. What colors do you guys like for Christmas? Comment down below. I'd be curious to know um, if you're more traditional, if you have any um, recommendations for some collections to use or maybe even for next year. Um, what are you guys doing this year? I'd be curious to know. And um, I love talking about this kind of stuff, obviously. And I'm going to use some Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine to kind of tie it all together. And I'm kind of going in like a diagonal. I do that a lot in my layouts, I've noticed. Like I go diagonally with them. Just kind of moves your eyes across the page. Um, and then I'm going to use these sequins. Sorry that my... um. 
the camera is like not focusing properly. But I do put some sequence on. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Um, I put some sequence on, but I do cut that short because you don't really need to see me put every single one on because that might be boring and you might stop watching the video. <laughs> and the sequins match like almost exactly to the chipboard Christmas tree, which I thought was kind of perfect. So I think it kind of brought it all together and it almost looks like it's snowing gold sequins and I love it. <coughs> I really can't wait to just dig into my December daily and start start working on it. It's going to be a lot of fun to do and I'll share with you guys what I'm doing. The book is, the binder is pretty small for what I wanted, but I think I'm just going to make it like junk journaly, almost like Mary Beth Hancher style. Um, so I think it'll be really fun. So here's some close-ups and I hope you're enjoying this season and getting ready for Christmas. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.